Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we are at tour stop number seven of the Deutz Far Power and Precision Tour. Today's event is at Egg Central Co-op in Athens, Tennessee. They did get a little bit of rain here. We're not gonna be able to run any of the equipment in the field, but people can still come out. They can drive the tractors. We got a field up here. We can drive around, show you the stuff. We're just not gonna have any implements behind to do any field work. Let's see how she goes. Egg Central Co-op in Athens, Tennessee has a lot going on here. They are a farm equipment dealer. They have an Ace Hardware store located inside the building. They have a tire automotive repair shop. They sell all kinds of different stuff such as gates, waters. They do dairy equipment and they also have a feed mill and they have many locations. But as far as I know, this is their only location that sells Deutz Far tractors and farm equipment. I was at this dealer the last week of May. They had a field day here and we ran a bunch of this equipment, the tractors, the hay tools and stuff. They sell Kloss, McHale, and other lines. And if you've not seen that video, I'll put the link to it at the end of this one. But we did make hay on the field right behind the dealership here. But today, since it rained, we're not going to be able to do that. We are all set up, ready to go. We have Topcon here, DLL, and Deutz Far. We have the tractors lined up. So as soon as people start showing up around 11 a.m., We'll start talking about the tractors. Customers, farmers can get in here, drive the tractors. We'll feed them lunch. And then anybody that has not drove a tractor yet can jump in and take it around. And I'll skip to the next step, lunchtime. They had a pretty good spread at this event, I must say. I stayed busy at this event talking to people. However, just because we didn't get to run stuff in the field and I was talking, I did not get a lot of footage. This will probably not be a really long video. Let's take the Bobcat UTV with the Topcon steering system in it out in the field for a spin. The Topcon guys set up a boundary in this field and they made some AB lines. This machine is set up with the end of road turn so you do not have to do anything. Once you have your field boundary recorded and you make your AB line, you put your width in, the machine will actually turn on the end all by itself. I'm approaching one of the lines here, so we will cut in a line here in a little bit and let this machine do its own thing. I am inside the cab of the new 6135 Deutz Far with the RV shift. This tractor has a 20 speed full power shift transmission, a bump shift lever here so as I bump the lever forward it shifts up, as I pull the lever back or bump it back it shifts down. We can also use a mode where we run this in an automatic power shift where you just use the throttle and it shifts up and shifts down depending on your throttle position. This transmission also has a road mode and a field mode available. Another nice feature on this tractor, if you see those round buttons there on the shift lever, those are referred to as jolly buttons. 
so we can program those buttons to do different functions on the tractor. I touch that button right there so we can go in here, we can program those buttons to do different things. For example, you get to the end of the field, you want to downshift to slow down, so we could put a remote on one of those buttons to raise our implement up, and then when we turn back into our row, we could put our auto steer on one, and then we could put another one to lower our implement. I'm going through the settings right here, but you can program about every function on this tractor to one of those jolly buttons if you desire. This tractor also has a shuttle shift lever on the steering column for forward and reverse, but it also has one here on the gear shift lever. That little switch you see in the middle there on the side, we could use that to change the direction of the tractor from forward to reverse as well. When you're in this screen, you can choose the function you want for that jolly button like right here to lower an implement and then hit OK and then it's saved. For example, right here I have programmed remote number two, one of the buttons to raise an implement and one of them to lower the implement. This tractor and many other models of Deutz Fahr tractors have what we call a stop and go feature which ties the clutch pedal and the brake pedal together so whenever you're working in the field, whatever you're doing, do not have to clutch the tractor, you can just hit the brake pedal, the tractor will stop, you let off on the brake pedal, and the tractor will take back off at the speed you were at. The Model 6135 also has four wheel braking, so you have a brake on each wheel. A lot of front wheel assist tractors just have a front brake, which is referring to kicking in the front differential. This tractor truly has brakes on each wheel on the front axle. And since it rained and we were not able to run equipment in the field today, here is some bonus footage, just a few clips from the event they had back in May. If you've not seen that video, it's a pretty good video with lots of good footage of different hay tools, and I will put the link to that video at the end of this one. That's gonna do it for this video. It wasn't a real long video. I did not have a lot of action shots since we were not in the field. But anyways, I got about a six hour drive home and we will be in South Carolina for the next event next week. Anyways, please go down there, hit that like button, feel free to comment below. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd go down there and hit subscribe. You can also follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.